you bunch of weirdos and welcome back to the sexy, sexy Stoker Luna career mode. And guys, this transfer window is about to go B A N A N A N A S bananas. Oh my god, something just absolutely tremendous, outrageous, epic is gonna go down. But first and foremost, we are in the transfer room. We are pursuing. In the last episode, I asked you guys if I should pursue, if I should dare, if I should dare to slot. Zlatan, Zlatan, I get it guys, you guys have been hammering me, I said it, Zot, Zotlan, a whole bunch of times, I'm, I'm sorry, I am human, I mispronounce things wrong, I'm just a dumb American, please, forget me, I bring great shame and dishonor to my family. But now, as you can see right here, we're going on getting in, and look at this, all that I've done from Sexy Sexy Stoke and Luna, they have offered me a job for the Brazilian job, I will not be accepting, but I thought it was a little bit flattering right here, as we go ahead and look right here, we're putting in offers, the two main targets that we're going for right now in this transfer room, were this man right here, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The other one was Jazinho, who is a Brazilian left midfielder who can also play in the left back position. I want to experiment with something in FIFA career mode this year. It could also work in foot, but I'm trying to bring in more attacking players into my fullbacks position in, uh, positions and see how that actually affects the gameplay. See if I can really rock it and get them into good positions and get a couple goals and maybe assists out of my fullbacks positions. And there you guys go. We get contract offers except they're four. Oh, Zlatan, the big slot, Dani Bohimovic, as well as Josinho, and we were also pursuing, I didn't actually, uh, I forgot to actually post this up, but you guys saw in the last episode, Jeremiah St. Justy, or as I like to call him, St. Justice, another sexy, sexy Barcelona product, and as you can see right here, there we go, 87, uh, he's not the fastest with 66 sprint speed and 68 stamina, we're not going to be able to use him all that much, but look at those absolute dark greens and the dribbling, the finishing, the ball control, the penalties, even the short passing, he is a, basically a perfect false nine type of center forward, four star, we've got four star skill moves just all the specialties and all the traits pretty much if only he was just a little bit faster and he had those five star skills but this is the thing i started panting we had him and we also had justice in here but for the life of me i was going back and forth back and forth back and back back and back i could not find Josinho, and it says right here boom it says right there hey uh, uh thank you i've accepted i'm on your team so i went ahead and i looked him up and i was like what the heck what's the dealio yo and I don't know, it's just, this happened to me a couple times, it's a glitch where it says they sign them and they actually don't, but thankfully they don't actually take your funds, because that would be absolutely fucked, but we're going to go ahead and have to do it all over again as we go into this match, and this will be the debut of the big Slatkan Ibrahimovic as... You guys see, Manchester United, it's halfway through the freaking season. We're in the January window, guys, and Manchester United has not lost a game yet, and I wish the real Manchester United would actually be in some scintillating form. But if you guys are Manchester United fans, this is a great time to plug it. I will be dropping my first episode of the Manchester United. I'm not sure if it's going to be a rebuild yet, but essentially, my Manchester United FIFA 16 career mode, where I'm going to be simulating it in the vein as if Pep Guardiola took it over. But now, enough of that. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and chase them down. We're in this match up against Sunderland, Sunderland, and now we're going to go ahead and rock it everywhere. Look at this beautiful interlacing play. Ones and or twos. And we're going to go ahead and get a goal with Dimitri Payet. Oh my god, the big 27 for sexy. Sexy sensual. So Galona, and this is like, I don't even need to get hyped, guys. I don't need to raise my voice, because look how just silk is smooth we are. Oh my goody goodness. As, ah, that goal was just, just, uh, sex, like, se I was about to say sex velvet, but I don't even know what sex velvet even is, or, or someone should invent it. But enough of the sex velvet, because there we go! From one sexy man to another sexy man. It is the big, big sexy. Right there, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Wow, he looks good. He looks good in that good old stuff to suck, sexy, sexy, still Kalona. Uh, Kit right there, look at him linking up with Shakira. You know those two are going to be doing big things this season, big things in the second half of this season. A little nice little burba spin. My number one player is going to go ahead, and you know he's going to be doing more. And as you can see, we are comfortable with a two goal lead, but could we put a little bit more right here? I see a free man right here, but look at this. Shakira just steals it off of him. Do it, no! <laughs> yeah, lad. Oh. I think he got a little bit, I think Shakira got a little bit jealous. He was like, all right, we got the big signings, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but 
Come on, I was the number one, ranked number one player that you used in Karubo this year. I got I got to show you, coach. I got to show the gaffer that I still got it. Oh, inch perfect into top pins, upper echelon, as uh, good old Spensky likes to say, uh, upwards and beyondwards, Mr. Mr. Zerdan Jakiri. I ah, probably mispronounced that too, but don't kill me. I am human, I am human, as we go ahead and bring this up. Guys, if you haven't checked it out, I did drop recently the top 10 players that I used in FIFA 15, uh, not FIFA 15, in 2015. So if you want to go ahead and check that video out, it'll be in the links down below. But look at this, Shawcross just absolutely gives it to Lens and Jackie Butts, another player who actually made it into my top 10, goes ahead and makes a monster save, and that could possibly help us out. You know, a goal differential in a race this tight to win the league. Ugh, every single goal counts, man. As you can see, so, as you can see right there, pretty even match. We had about the same number of, um, you know, shots on target, as well as uh, just shots in general. As you can see right here, transfer offer accepted. We're gonna try this again with Jalzinho. Fool me once, but hopefully, yeah, you don't fool me again. And there we go. Uh, I request additional funds. They actually do give me some. They give me about eight in the funds, and let's see if this works this time. Yay! Let's see if your game isn't a piece of poop. -poo. Okay, we accept, and there he is. He is in. He is 79 rated left mid. As you can see right here, great spin speed, over 90 spin speed, 94 agility, 91 acceleration. Uh, he's got decent in almost everything. As you can see, good finishing, good long shots. He's got four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Can play left wing, left mid, and left back. We're gonna be sending feeling past lack away on loan. The only thing that I don't like about Jazzino is essentially he he only has like he, he doesn't have the best stamina, so I don't know how long we can use him. And we have about you know three mil left over with a little bit of change in the um, you know change in wages, and then all of a sudden this started happening. Offers started coming in for Tiago, and this one really peaked. You know, you anytime PSG comes in I'm saying all right so I offer a ridiculous amount because I don't want to get rid of freaking Tiago I offered 75 million for Tiago because pretty much I want to keep him he's one of the favorite one of my favorite you know CMs that I've ever used in career mode so I was like I'm just gonna put a ridiculous offer and they're just gonna basically reject it but this is PSG and they were like you know oh, 75 million yeah that's, that's that sounds reasonable for a player I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna match that, and our representatives are gonna meet with this agent. So yeah, like that, we lose Thiago, and we have 75 mil in the bin, including, uh, I think we're getting those additional funds coming in, and then all that money back in the wages, so what is, what? This totally caught me off guard, what do I do here? There we go. Yeah, we get 63 and a half mil into the budget right there. As you can see right here, additionally, we have 67, and we have a hole to fill in our midfield. I mean, we actually do have pretty good players. We have his, his brother Rafinha is over there, as well as Kim Prince Boateng, who can do a job. But I thought, you know, well, let's go back to the well. Let's go back to the sexy, sexy stuff and learn. And basically, he's the new guy. But even if we go in for Sergio Roberto, who's going to be an amazing center mid, do we go big, guys? Because we got the money now. We could go for pretty much any... We can afford almost any player in the world, save for Messi and Ronaldo. So we're going big. I'm going to go in for Bale. I'm going to go in for Iron Robin, who's apparently in the contract a year is expiring. So I could actually put in an offer for him. If we're going to play an additional season, get him for cheap. Or we could even go in for Neymar or Suarez. And that's what I'm going to do right there. I'm going to leave a straw poll down below, guys. Basically, ask you guys. I'm gonna put in those four players. I'm gonna put Bale, Robin, Neymar, and Suarez. I don't think we really need Suarez because we just got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So, who do you guys think? Who do you guys think that we should sign right here? And look at this. Everyone's trying to snipe in. Gregory, uh, someone's going in. Lazio is going for Gregory Vanderwell, and I was like, hey, if you pay me 20, uh, I'll give him up. But I actually don't really want to get rid of him because he's been playing pretty well too. But uh, there we go. We actually do get a couple of contract offers accepted right here for Mr. Zabi Alonso, who's I'm going in for him because he's super cheap. If you saw right there, he was only 2.5 million. Oh my goody goodness. We can get him and maybe, you know, Sergio Roberto. I think that would be comparable. You know, that would be enough coverage as well as enough potential talent in the future to really cover for the loss of Thiago. Um, but now we're going to go into this. We cannot drop points up against Bournemouth City. And guys, I'm going to tell you this right off the bat. This game was an absolute blue baller. I mean, it was just fitting 
that Bournemouth were in their blue kits because I had such hard blue balls in this game after this. Just, oh, why you tease me or not to bitch. I mean, it's it's not even like I was playing that bad. We were getting these amazing chances, but it would just be that one little thing. Or it was, look at this. How is that not a penalty? Big Zlatan gets on top of it again and keeps on going. And you can see that we were getting decent chances, just none of them were coming in. The ball wasn't falling on the right side, and maybe it was something with the weather, maybe it was the snow, and look at this, could we get the chicken chips? But not enough elevation right there, and the keeper goes ahead and passes on. Now Ibrahimovic is in, and another great save from the Cayman Monster. And now that is going to go ahead and get parried away, and that would be mostly the story of what is going on, guys. And now you can see Ibrahimovic is onto the ball, gets it parried away, but he's still on Joe. He's so strong, he pins it to Vanderwell, who hits it directly at Kaimini again. Oh my god, what was it going to take? But could Bournemouth get it away? Jackie Butlins can't have it, but he is able to recover after he goes ahead and deadens the ball. And then Zlatan had another shot. How many shots were we going to get? Rafinha was in, and that's what I'm talking about, guys. We had... I mean, on any other day, one of these freaking shots goes in. At least one of them. That was ridiculous, and the snow does not do us well in this one. As you can see, 11 shots, 8 shots on target. They only had 3, but we come out of it dropping points to Bournemouth. Ugh, oh, that was just absolutely disgusting, guys. And you know, you know, guys... What do you guys say? Do you think Manchester United, you know, yeah, Manchester United dropped there? Nope. St look at that loss column. Z big old goose egg in that loss column. They won again, so now it's it's up to I think a seven point lead or an eight point lead or something ridiculous. As we go ahead and we go and pursue, we need extra firepower, guys. We need. Do we need a Neymar? Do we need, you know, maybe. I don't know. Do we need a bail? Do we need a Neymar? Do we need an Iron Robin? But we do go ahead and get ourselves our replacement in the center mid, bringing in Sergio Roberto. And guys, he doesn't have the four star skill moves that I loved in Tiago, but look at this. He's a different kind of beast with 76 sprint speed, along with 81 stamina, and it was like 88, 89 short passing, and 81 long passing. Very, very nice. But this is the big thing, 77 stand tackle. This man is a complete center mid. He's gonna put in a shift in that midfield. We're gonna go ahead and train him up in attack position and is finishing those are the only kind of more weaker points of his game right now. So hopefully uh, he is going to be an absolute thunder cunt in our midfield right there. But that is gonna pretty much be it guys. I'm gonna leave it in the straw poll down below and leave a comment down below. You know, what do you think? Who who with that money? We we still have a lot. As you see right there, we have 70 million at 177 in the freaking budget. Uh, so who do you guys think? Who do you guys think we should go for? Do you think we should dream big and try to get, you know, maybe a Ronaldo or a Messi? Or is that too unrealistic? Then again, how re unreal how realistic is it for Tiago to go for 75 million to PSG? This is just absolute bananas. This episode has been absolute bananas. If you guys did go ahead and enjoy this amazingly epic shock transfer. <sighs> We just got a lot sexier, and next episode we might get even that much more sexier here, boys, at the Sexy Sexy Stuff Alone. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button if you guys did enjoy. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more and more great, great, amazing FIFA 16 career mode content. It's been your boy, B-Minus. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, be weird. And if you guys are going out tonight, stay safe and have fun and Happy New Year.